welcome everybody to the press conference for Lewis Ritson versus O'Hara Davis, world title eliminator here in Newcastle at the Utilitar Arena. Um, double header as well, Thomas Pratchett Ward, also in a world title eliminator. Um, first off, before we go through the undercard, we're just going to come to promote Phil Jeffries. Um, Phil, <coughs> incredible card, it'd be a banging atmosphere this Saturday. Talk to us, what excites you most about this weekend and some of the fights that have gone? We're just getting to get the lads out, you know. We've waited a long time for this show, you know. It's uh, undercard lads and it's uh, going to be a crap 50-50 fight. Uh, Tommy and uh, Lewis's fight and Reeson and undercard and the rest of the lads. It's just, they're just having them to get out, you know, because this day has been put backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards and that. So it's going to be a really, really exciting fight at the weekend. This fight's been talked about for a long time between O'Hara and Lewis. Um, what do you expect to see Saturday? Is it going to be fireworks from the off? Well, it's going to be fireworks. Uh, it's a proper 50-50 fight, you know. Uh, it's going to be Tommy's as well. Ben is, all the lads, it's going to be proper, proper 50-50 fights, you know. It's going to be crap and crap and sure. Well, let's go on to some of this undercard. We've got Ben Rees to his far right. Um, first fight ended in a draw. Have you had a chance to sort of look back at that now and see where you could improve coming into this? Yeah, uh, with the team... We fixed on the little mistakes what happened last time. We there wasn't really any mistakes. It was just pure bad luck what happened last time. But as soon as I left that arena, I put it behind us. Uh, I'm back now and can't wait for a Saturday night. It's a huge card. Um, do you feel any pressure coming into a card like this? It's been talked about for a long time. This main event. How excited are you to be a part of such a big card here in Newcastle? No, I don't really feel any pressure towards it. To be fair, I feel more pressure doing this interview than uh, <laughs> for fight night. Uh, I think I've been waiting for it all my life, so it's all I wanted in the TR now. Um, also coming on, Stephen Cairns, 4-0. Oh. Yeah. Um, talk to me about how your career's gone so far. Um, ticked every box on this journey. Um, what can fans who haven't seen you fight before expect this Saturday? Well, uh, my last fight, we went to full six rounds, ticked another box, I can do my six rounds. But on Saturday night, I want to go in there, break down my opponent and take him out and give what people want to see and knock out. I suppose it's just all about getting that win at, at the end of the day. But going in there and performing to your best and going in there and get that knockout and showing everyone what you've been working on, that's what, that's what it's about. OK, we'll go up for Saturday. Um, we're also getting the return of Lee McGregor. Uh, Lee, you've been out the ring for a long time now, suffered a lot of you know, bad experiences outside of the ring. How pleased are you to be coming back? And like I said, said to everyone on such a big card here in Newcastle. Yeah, no, it's been a long time coming. Um, I'm just super excited to get back in the ring. And like I said, frustrating year. Put it behind me now. This is a new chapter, and I'm gonna get back to where I was and, and show everyone that I'm still one of the one of the best fighters I believe in the UK. At, um, at these at this new weight, obviously I'm gonna be moving up. This is slightly heavier. And then we're going to push on towards the end of the year and look for some big fights. So no no mistakes, no hiccups on Saturday night. Just enjoy myself and do what I need to do. And um, We spoke a few weeks ago down at the Ben Davison gym. Um, you often say, you know, this year is about getting yourself back into world title contention. Do you believe by the end of this year we'll be talking about you in with the likes of a world champion and really progressing? Well, I don't want to say anything because... <laughs> You look at the year I've had last year, and then you look at the year before that, I was getting talked about being Britain's next world champion. Now I've no fought for 15 months, so I just take each fight as it comes from now. I've learned from that. I'm going to enjoy Saturday night, sit down after that, and then look look to get back out again in quick succession and, and really build this year. And if an opportunity comes, I'll take it with both hands. What have you learned about yourself with this sort of period outside the ring? I know you've been through a lot outside of it. Has that made you mentally stronger coming into this fight? Yeah, of course. I've, my whole life has been challenging. I've been through hell and back. And one thing I can take from this is through the hard days, brighter days come. And here I am finally, obviously, getting back in the ring on Saturday. And this is, I feel like, the beginning and the end of the bad luck for me. And I'm really going to push on now and, like I say, have a big year, big finish to the year and get back to where I was. Well, we look forward to seeing you perform this Saturday. Um, Co-main event, Thomas Patrick Ward. Um, so WBA world title eliminator, you're one step away from that world title fight. How pumped and excited are you that it's only one fight away now? Yeah, very excited for Saturday night. Um, like I said, it's been a long time coming. The show's been rescheduled a few times, you know, but um, we're here now. We're, you know, you've got a good fighter. Um, but I'm a good fighter, so I think it'll be a good fight. 
Um, the crowd will enjoy it, and then uh, go from there. Ottomek comes into this um, very game competitor. Um, what do you make of him, his talent, and what he brings into this fight? You've obviously got to be wary of. Well, obviously, like you don't get no easy fights in the, in this position. You fight for a fine living at a football title, so obviously he'd be a, be a good fighter, so we expect a respectable fighter. Um, but like I said, uh, I'm mixing it with the best, so you know, just whatever he brings, I'll be ready for, and uh, be a good fight on Saturday night, and uh, I'm sure everybody will enjoy it, and I'm sure it'll be a good show. So have you got a message for all your supporters, people who are coming down to support you? Uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you very much for everybody who's... Uh, coming out on Saturday night and who's bought tickets because, you know, the show has been rescheduled a lot of times and there's been a lot of issues with the show, with the stuff going on, so, you know, but I'm sure there'll be a great turnout on uh, Saturday night and, um, like I said, the fans will be there and enjoy it, so I appreciate everybody who's come out and supported it, not just me, but all the lads here, and uh, we'll support the show. Moving on to Ottawa, I'm going to translate with you, so... Um, how important is it for you that you get the victory? He's coming into this with a big reputation behind him. Um, how excited, how motivated are you to put on a performance and to get that spot for a world title? Özümle cüdeyim yaş. Skalipmen mi şu dereceler bir eriskenimden cüde kursam ben bunu promoterlar ve hangiler biz dükkanı bırakırken insanlar bir cüde katta kalmak aslında dedim ben. Mümkün bu narsalar için cüde kupla yıllar. Tergani kurdum, mehnat kıldım, kutudan zorladım. Şambakını kurstam, üniversiteler işlerden olsun diye hareket ederler. For coming here to support this fight, thank you promoter, thank you the, all the fighters. He said I work for this day all my life and uh, Saturday I will show my best. He said uh, like everyone I feel little pressure but when I go to the ring it means we go away. How do you win this fight Saturday night? Does it go to points? Do you win by stoppage? How do you get the victory? Men Thailand, men buni xudo biladi. Ringda ko'rsatamiz. Biz ishladik, mehnat qildik, bunga juda ko'p tayyorgarlik ko'rdim. Men bu narsalarni bir yil kutdim. Men bilan qachon jang qilaman ekan deb. O'sha bir yil davomida men rasmiy mehnat qildim, buni ustida ishladim. Shanba kuni bu narsani ko'rsataman. He said, I was working whole year for this fight, it's particular for this fight. And he said, like, I prepare, I am ready, and only God knows how fight will finish. But we're ready for, for you. Well, we look forward to seeing it. It's an exciting co-main event this Saturday. Moving on to the main event, this fight has been scheduled, rescheduled. We're finally going to get to see Lewis Ritson, O'Hara Davis in Newcastle. Um, <coughs> first off, I'm going to come to O'Hara. You're no stranger to fighting in enemy territory. He's going to have fans there rooting for him. You've been in the opponent's backyard before. Do you feel you've got the experience and the know-how to come into Newcastle and not let the crowd phase you and to get the victory? Sorry, it's a bit hot. I'm just taking off my jumper, really. OD. So, um... <laughs> Fighting in enemy territory is nothing that I'm not used to. I've done it time and time again. Because he doesn't Tom Farrell, and Taylor. I've been to different countries. I fought. I've boxed all over the world. So you know, it's all about what happens in that ring. And his fans can't fight for him. My fans can't fight for me. And um, you know, I don't care if I got whether I get cheered or I get booed. In. It don't. It don't make a difference. As long as the outcome is in my favour. Lewis is uh, turned up, Man United top. <laughs> uh, typical OD fashion. And um, this fight we've mentioned before, it's been rescheduled, it's finally here. How come to you for this fight? And what have you made of the things that he's obviously said in the build up? There has been a bit of back and forth over the last few months. No, I just look, Saturday night's going to come, like he said, just, just me and him in the ring, and uh, we're just going to let the fist do the talk, and we think we're going to uh, get a whole out there, and we think we can, you know. A good display, and that's what we're going to do. Your careers have gone quite similar in terms of you had a couple of losses at peace, and um, you've, you know, you've gone back, and now you're at this point now where you're one fight away. What does a loss do for either of you at this having to rebuild and start again? Yeah, I think a loss for the two means the like, end of any world title rope, you know, being up there, you know, um, but we're just going to come across how it happens. We think we're going to win, so we're not even having a lot in my head, just uh, get a good performance Saturday. And, 
and uh, show them what we're about. O'Hara, um, how do you rate Lewis Ritson as a fighter? I think he's a good fighter. He's got a good jab for the first round too. Um, you know, he's got grit. Uh, he throws punches and um, in bunches. He's a good combination puncher. But he's, you know, he's weak as shit. <laughs> but <laughs> he's weak as shit. But he has got attributes. You know, he does throw punches and bunches and he's a good combination puncher. He's just weak as shit. So how he's gonna get me out of here? I don't see it happening, you know, I don't see it happening, I don't see myself losing. And, you know, we're talking about getting me out of there, there's no chance of a snowball being in hell, then I'm going to fix and get me out of there on Saturday night. This is why, this is why I honestly think, call me deceived, call me whatever you want, but, mate, you're talking about getting me out of there. It's not going to happen, it's probably going to be the way. You know, no disrespect to him because I like him as a person, I met his dad, yeah. Good guys, good family, he just wants to, you know, he wants to provide a good future for himself and his kids. Um, but this is the end of the road. Lewis, what do you make of them comments? Where would you weak? No chance yeah, of getting well, them out of them. You know, everyone in there has got to quit them. That's what I haven't got, you know. You have to pay me before, so... We'll see, we'll see Saturday night. I'm just, you know, he can, he can talk to me and smack all he wants, but I'm just going to get there Saturday and uh, do what I can do. Mate, when people say I've got... People say I've got quit in me. It's what everyone said after that fight. It's what Tyrone McKenna said and everyone else said. And they all got their ass booked. So, you know, this weekend's not going to be anything different. Yeah, you say one thing, I've got quit in me. Big fucking wow. Having in one fight against the undisputed world champion. I'm not against Lewis Ritson. We're talking about undisputed world champion. Come on, different levels, different levels in this game. That fight I've got beat, this fight you're getting beat. That's it. And we'll see who quits this fight. Saturday night, we'll see who quits. <laughs> Harry, you often reference never watching that Josh Taylor performance only until a couple of years ago. Are you now, are you now at peace with that performance? Because you you suffered a lot after the fight. Everyone calling you a quitter. You know, Obviously, it's been used. I don't today. care what they say about me after the fight. I don't care what they say about me. You know, boxing fans are going to be boxing fans, and they're never going to have anything positive to say. They're miserable people that are not happy with themselves. So you know, they like to. I'll put that onto the fighters, which I understand is the game I'm in. Um, am I a piece of it? Yes, but I also understand that I didn't work as hard as I should have worked that camp. I wasn't focused that camp. For that fight, I never watched him not once. I fought Taylor, a good fighter. I never watched him not once. I was with Tony Simmons, ask him. We never sat down and watched him once. There was no game plan. The game plan was I'm going to go in there, I'm going to use my right hand, and I'm going to get him out. The same thing I've done to everyone else. That was the game plan. I was out with girls after gym, I wasn't going home, I wasn't focused, I was out with girls in different restaurants, in different hotels, I weren't focused. When I'm focused, I know what I can do. When I'm focused, I know no one can beat me. And this guy Saturday night ain't beating me. What is your response to that? Yeah, we'll just see Saturday night, we'll How does this fight end on Saturday, Lewis? How do you sort of realise that dream of getting O'Hara out of the way to having that world title shot, which I know you do crave? Look, we're just going to go then, win any way we can Saturday. Like I say, I'll, you know, we think we'll get him out there. And that's what we're going to try to do. You got a final message for him? No, just we'll see Saturday night. Ahara, same to you. We've got a final message for Lewis Ritson before you fight on Saturday? Nah, not really. I think I've said anything I've got to say. Well, look, we look forward to an explosive Saturday night. Um, a cracking double layer, two world title eliminators. Lewis Ritson, Ahara Davis. It's going to go off. Two more.